who has not yet conceded, Gabby Salinas. That's right. Salinas was in a tight race against incumbent Brian Kelsey for Tennessee Senate District 31 seat. Now she's waiting on provisional ballots to be counted. Local 24 News reporter Annette Pegler is live in the studio now to explain how that process is done. Annette? Well, Richard and Katina, Shelby County election officials spent hours today placing those provisional ballots into inventory. They'll be counted starting tomorrow and added to the totals. Although election day is over, for Shelby County election officials, the work to count provisional ballots has just begun. People change their names, they move, you know, did they try to register? Um, do the signatures match? There's a lot of things that go into it. A provisional ballot is used to record a vote when there are questions about a voter's eligibility. We have to see if the voter did attempt to register before the deadline, uh, and if that's true and they completed the paperwork correctly, then we'll recommend to the provisional counting board that that ballot be accepted. Last night, there were several close races, some separating the winners by just hundreds of votes. This is the first time I've ever run for office, and I've been very much the underdog the whole way through, and um, we, we've done a wonderful job. Gabby Salinas is hoping provisional ballots will lessen the gap in her race, but Shelby County Election Administrator Linda Phillips says over her career, she hasn't seen provisional ballots make much of a difference. I've counted a lot of provisional ballots in my career, and I have never seen an instance where provisional ballots change the outcome. Now, it's certainly possible, but I've just not experienced it. And the votes will be certified officially by a provisional counting board made up of two Republicans and two Democrats. The certification process has to be complete by November 27th. Live in the studio, Annette Pegler, Local 24 News. Annette.